we ain't gonna we ain't gonna play with it. We ain't gonna play with it because even this we can't take personal. We cannot take this personal because it's a man made stuff. I swear I say the get go we got started this way that the only relationship that you should be taking personally personal is a relationship with God because in Germany Germany I tell you that he the he farm you and he know everything that is in you. He know everything about you. And he tell us say yo you are his own. Fair? No. When we think about that, we understand that. I alone know all things, so nobody where we have a relationship can know fully. We talk about relationship shift that means we go through different cycle, we go through different different things in our relationship and it costs us to be different different person and a person to really accept that truth like fair. No, today we're gonna to talk about two different relationships. What we've been a have, still a have, and probably going to continue to have. We're talk about seasonal relationship and transitional relationship. Seasonal relationship meaning you have, have a friend for that season just because you have to be a friend based on the project. Yeah? You have, to have a friend for a yeah, couple of decades out of your life, yes, but you can't go certain further together. Like together, together, but on a friend. Like again, it's seasonal. And then you have transactional no way. I suck me for something. Only in another relationship a base man because a person I can do something, I give something, you can't do the same. No, no problem with that again. All of us, sometime in our life, been through still got you our inner one of the relationships. Yeah. Fair? No. With that, it, it showed me a few things. That painful stuff can be done in these relationships and when painful stuff done we don't have to really take it personal because we do painful for stuff too and why I say we don't have to take it personal and we do some stuff is behavior sometimes we have one behavior where we deal with and inside it come from why I say that you have been of this, you have been to do this, you still have to do this, you don't plan to stop to this, you want to continue to do this, and I want to struggle. And again, it come out in your behavior because of something where you are dealing with on the inside, you don't really see and plan to deal with it. And you allow it to come out at a random time when you don't have self control over it. Believe, man, just think about that. Painful things we have in this relationship. Painful things gonna be said. Hurtful things gonna happen. Hurtful things like I said. Listen to me, man. We can tell us something. You know what I mean? People are gonna drop off a contact. People are gonna betray. You are gonna betray some. You are gonna lie. People are gonna lie to you. Some are gonna gossip. You are gonna gossip. Some are gonna cheat. You are gonna cheat. Some are gonna steal. You are gonna steal. But at the end of it, long term, when we reach to the end, in a personal, people are dealing with a lot inside. Them. And we can't say that because personally, if we think about it, we have got you a lot inside too. Different, different seasons, different, different time, different, different things. It happened. And things we said, enough time, are things we said, enough time is when then things happen. We either say, why me? Or the person say, why them? You know what I mean? And sometimes I ask the question also is, why could you really do this to me? Me a fall person. And sometimes you do something. And I wonder why you do it to that person. That person, that fall person. So it got both ways. So I'm not there to try to bash nobody. I'm not try to bash you side. But again, stuff being said, stuff being heard. And it's not personal because sometimes some stuff a personal got through in the inner wire. I said that if you said this is because you got through stuff in you know, the inner wire too. Inside, right? Um, remember one time, every time things happen and person they around me and upset, I always have one now with me though. I mean, it's so meant everything. You know what I mean? Again, worse of me that like, in this space and you know, I just get upset. You know, like, what am I going to do now? No? 
I mean, to take you up on me, like, I have to go fix this, I have to try to stop doing what I do and go fix this because I think I may do something wrong because I may there, so and you just create a fiction and you know, start getting mad. Like, I mean, it's the easy thing they like personally. But it's the no. It's the man. It's just because me there so happy and you feel the need to get mad. God go there. Come and deal with it. But that's just me personally. You know what I mean? And realize that now people behavior is not the reflection of me. People behavior is not really the reflection of me. It's the reflection of what they're doing with, with inside. Because I bash out and behave a certain way upon people already and, and I don't know them do. But some something I deal with personally, I don't mean, really want to talk about in a way, you know what I mean? But sometimes my struggle though, that me come me have how I do, cut or affect somebody so deeply and sometimes trigger them so sometimes I contribute to their problem at times. I mean I go bash nobody again as I say. I take my responsibility. And this now, they react in our certain way based off of something we do or based off of something we me do. Let me say it personally. But I go get into that deeply. Now, based off of something we me do or based off of something you do, I don't feel only against you and you don't feel only against me. Why am I say that? Because it's not personal. It's because probably something I deal with on the inside allow me to cut you in a certain way, but understand your side too. That me, you know me, you don't cut me. Or you cut somebody else based off of something where you are dealing But should I continue to just take the blame of the past thing that I have done? Again, my scar of fear enough, fine. You scar me. You have me already. Me and you decide, I'm going to talk about that future. Say, we are going to move on from this. We are going to try to fix this. We are going to try to do something. You know what I mean? And it not really get done. But, I see, in a relationship, if we ever move on from something, we have to accept. Again, I don't bash the other person in the relationship because many times my situation caused the earth to be on what I do. Do you make you do certain things? So, again, when things happen, we talk about this in a conversation or we adjust the problem. And when we adjust the problem and have the conversation about the problem, we come to a solution based on that. We are going to say, we are going to accept the solution, accept the problem because it's done already. We are going to accept and move on, or we are going to accept and continue. Again, two year work. But, call upon this for a second. If you, if you can understand this, or take things personal, or not take things personal in, in a relationship when hurtful things happen, think about. When you do stuff, I'm going to say that already by saying, say, I know the person may do something. Sometimes and you may do something too. You say stuff, you act at times and behave a certain way. Matter of fact, think about this. I don't know if you have a friend, but I have one. Where? Yes, when they're hungry, I want a different person. Them. When they're hungry, I want a different person. Now, around me and them behave a certain way, it not affect me. But if I bring that person up on a vibes, on a mission, Somewhere and continue to say, We're gonna do this before I do that. Why, if I do that, fear and then that's my day now hungry. I may have guests around the table and they lash out again. I see this happen already, you know? and they lash out and they behave a certain way and they say certain stuff and make my guests feel all a certain type of way. And then after them have the meal, you wonder, Oh, this no, no, you see the hurtful stuff them already, you know. You done that part in there, they don't green at the get go, your belly full now. What happened after that? When you figure out that alright, the person have the conversation bicycle. A lot of times the walk away, not having the conversation is to say do me something. You, know. you do me something. But you have pride in yourself, you walk away. These are two things that happen. These are two things that happen. Either you have to talk to the person, but the person can really humble apologize. One. Or you yeah, let them just think whatever by not saying anything to them and then walk away. Two things you're going to accept and I'm talking about, I'm going to say, accept. Because your emotion will get better. Your emotion based on the situation, based on the things that they say, based on the things that we didn't act, you will get better. You will probably feel a little shame in yourself, you hold it to yourself, you suck up, you stall up, or you whatever you do. You puff up. Fear? I ain't really get to talk about it and you move on, the person feel like everything alright, but then you have up the person. Again, you take to some something, 
not take it out personal. Only thing you're supposed to take personal are the relationship with God. Now, have you ever have a moment where you just want to talk to somebody? You have this one smile where you feel like you understand you and them are forward from far. You know, come from all long, birth long, whatever long, right? And you call them. And you just you go through a match as I say, and you just want to talk, you know. But as you start the first conversation, this person starts telling about them problem. It's not about you, you know. It's not always about you, you know. It's not always that they behave and behave and act in you probably not say it, but they probably wall it black. Again, you probably not say it, they probably wall it black. I may mean, show you um, I may mean, show you exactly what um, after that. Yes, when I talk about that, I again look back in the conversation and certain something at my inner address them. People walk away knowing two different things. So fix them who you're there and then know if you can tell a person, if you call a person planning to be vent to them and tell them all your life story because you feel hurt about a situation, you can tell them to, oh, it's not about you, too, you know. It's not about you. And what me understand is sometimes person call you and I give you all of that and I vent and I cuss and I behave. They don't really worry to talk or say nothing, you know. It's because then trust us so much we tell the worst and expect enough to feel now we are saying nothing else about it after. And I've got those call regular multiple times where people call me and just start lash out. Probably they trust me enough for they can talk to me fear. But big woman thing after they talk to me and then dush blush out. My prayer me not member about so I get to talk about and at least my loyalty does fall down way away you can't hear you know, me No, we don't know about that. Me not sure, me not hear. I'll let me just hear. Hear, fear? And I realize that some people just want that, but when time you take the conversation out and now and make them become it's all about you. A hurt. Or oh, a different type of hurt that no, they're not nobody for trusting her. You know what I mean? Like they're not nobody for trusting her. Something important as like as they get older, things change. There are people get the your nerves at home, at work, friends. And again, while they grow, things change. You realize this person that is spotting over and over and he just get tired you now, you get frustrated and you can't work with it. Talk about it. We talked about conversation previously. Talk about it. Tell them, your yeah, friend them, carefully talk about it. Not just want things and feel like, you know what I mean? Now, when I see people act a certain way, when I level up with their age, it really shows to some person I deal with some something inside. And then I heal from them yet. Again, when I see a certain person, I act a certain way. This is not. Remember, I don't just talk about straight relationship alone, like your personal relationship, your man or woman, your dogo dogo, eh eh. But talk about your family relationship, them, your friendship relationship, them, your co worker relationship. Them. Everywhere you go, you have relationship. And again, the best relationship you have first and personally is with God. That are the straight one. But these are the ones that we have faced when they come and come now. We're going to talk about daily. That you have sometimes some people behave a certain way. You know what I mean? If you, if you try to make people behave, you, make you feel a certain type of way through your emotion, them, like. How they see you, how they view you, how they feel about you. If you're supposed to take that personal, you're going to feel less than all the time. You're going to feel less than all the time. You're going to feel less than what you're worth. If you have to take people, view about you, what they say about you, and how they look by you, personal, you're going to always feel be little. I tell you. you you're gonna make no when you see them, you know, and be around them, and then if you feel them, you feel like you walk with the extra level. But be transparent around everybody, be grown from the highest title to the lowest platform. Why? Because cut you're gonna be cut you're gonna be raw, you're gonna be real, you're gonna be hot, humble, open, and transparent. And you're gonna tell you how I feel. Fear enough, I will not have all the time, but more and just say this to you now, whereby it's never personal. A lot of times, things. And people do so and something, and what they my face inside. You know what I mean? What they my face. It, look at the biggest trap where we find in a friendship. Now, we understand, say, 
from how we did live in the high school till now we grow. We grow, we mature, somehow we take adultship so seriously, we have responsibilities and we take them things more personal. Now, certain parents were used to show up for you before they did have a youth. They can't show up for you now because they have responsibility and they have to show up for them youth. When they not do that, you can't take it personal because there are going to be moments where you can't show up too. And them me not think supposed to take it personal either. Again, stuff happen, bills come, more bills come, responsibility, youth come, couple women, like a whole heap of stuff happen the next day after. So much stuff happen the next day after where you can't take what people do and behave and act personal make it be lit to you at no given time. Sometimes when you ask them person have a show up for you and they don't, I feel like if you find out what go on mentally, emotionally, spiritually, even financially because these are stuff what happen to all of it. Throughout life, throughout season, throughout every different part stuff I'm uh, me I tell you now when this stuff up when I see I'm uh, to others do not take it personal only relationship we are focused on we take personal today I the one with Father God It's not personal when people do things and say stuff and uh, act a certain type of way you know your word did you know I found much 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 value and only if I come off of my weight off of me when, when, when people behave uh, at a certain way, I'm gonna take them stuff personal when they do. When he, them do certain stuff, I'm gonna take it personal. Yo, so much weight come off on my shoulder. He's like, all right, do you think, man? Do you have to do, man? You know, care? All right, fear not fine. Fear not fine. We found it so much when I take uh, when I take things personal. How much weight come off of your shoulder? Believe me, man. You know what I mean? One good thing again, we see if you take personal and the relationship with God, they see if you don't take that personal, we ain't going to get up and feel your shoulder. And God, you feel get for no personally. Be, make him be the person the way you can act and behave and vent and trust me in that. Tell nobody. Me say you can act as much transparent. You already know it. You know all things. You know. But you can't do take that personal where you yeah, take things personal from people and not take it personal from God. Listen to me man. Do better. Now, why am I say that? God your father and him can deal with you accordingly. Now everybody different. Me have four youth. Me have to deal with four of them different. One me deal with my son, different form me deal with my daughter them. But as a father, me know if I deal with them. And me I try to tell the self, you take God personal. Him we know how to deal with you now. People can't know how to deal with you and them never be later. Only the creator of a thing know how to deal with that thing so it's only right to go to the man who deal with who make you ask him how you to deal with. Relationship is about acceptance. Now understand again people come with struggles and if you see them struggles and accept if you are going to deal with it or accept so you're not going to deal with it. Make up your mind, accept it and live or accept it and move and a little bit more time, I just run through them things I can more. You understand, say, certain stuff for people do you not have to take it personal. Man in smoke at life, take this personal, please me ask. Take this personal, please me ask. Take the relationship with God as personally, as personal as you can. Another last thing, did you notice that people really focus on themselves? If you don't make persons aware of certain stuff we are going, they don't really care and understand our person really focus on themselves. Now, if part of themselves have grown is you, you in the mix, fair enough, fine. But personally, they focus on themselves. They make sure said them all right. Me make sure me all right. It's like I go up on the road. Me have to make sure I'm fine for you. you look for me, me not even I see you. It's like that we, we live. We're going to find it hard to talk about young with integrity, but really and truly, everybody really focus on themselves. How are they going to behave if they're all right today? And then, others. Now, if you don't make them aware, they don't really care. We then focus on themselves so much, and really and truly, they don't have time to think about it. You, know, you have time for people. 
That time for you, them because you, them a part of you, yes. But you have time for people. Forgiveness is one of the biggest ones, them, right? Now, if you have a, a person with something that they have done, which really, the person, other person, the person that can speak their mind and say they want to say, I do what they want because that's who they are. But you have them up because them are them. I can't wait, you know. Let me say, person a person and then do what them do that require them them and you have up them your full full because you are carry a weight where you will never be lifted because them not gonna stop be them and them are gonna continue to be them now learn the word decide which means making a choice and cutting off the other option learn that this week and that's good because father try ft you listen to me again decide to make a choice say if me go work with this or work with this not because when you decide that mean cutting off the other option completely that mean a dead tree that mean our new lifestyle this and this me go do no come and decide for do this no if me decide for deal with somebody who hurt to me lie to me cheat to on me and then me forgive them decide to move on from where they do you, you forgive me move on Continue. And if you can't forgive me, tell me. Make we move on apart. Because if you're going to carry that with me, that's more weight for me. And it's going to affect me and trigger me and it's stuff for God. And then that's a whole other story. But Father God, please, have you in this place. Most righteous and heavenly Father, thank you for giving us this space to speak about you. Mighty God, again, do let us not take these relationships, these situations personal. Only the relationship with you because, again, they change in season. They shift in season. They shift in situation, mighty God. But only you remain the same, the God of yesterday, today, and forevermore. So, mighty God, thank you for giving us the chance to, again, discover more about us. You said you found us in the womb before our mother knew us. That means you have given everything that we need to have before we we are here and now we are discovering the stuff that you have given us. So mighty God, help us to be you. Help us to continue to give you the glory, the praise that you deserve. Lord God, again, thank you for this space. Thank you for this platform. Thank you for using me in your name. We pray. Listen, my man. A art life, humble, open, and transparent life. The life of God don't know, but we give God thanks for the pop up and there because again, not take it personal. Only thing if you take personal in a relationship with you and God. Hold up. 